Hello guys, TKG is here for your comfortable Lost Like Life. In this video, I'd like to cover the recent updates that was done on KL server. As the KL server is quite a head progression than the global, so I thought it'd be great to share some of those infos for your Lost Art journey. Maybe with this video, you might be able to sneak peek the future or upcoming updates on the global. Now follow me, I'll show you what you need. Before going into the main part of this video, one thing you need to ask up. This video is based on KL server status, which means it is only containing the roadmap and the recent updates that was done on KL server. As I mentioned in the first, as the KL server has a quite a head than the global server update progressions. So with this video, you can sneak peek the future or the upcoming updates on global. And also, this video is not containing any planned and the roadmap of the global server right now. So in this video, I'm going to show you on only KL server update and progression and news. So watch this video with those considerations and use this video as your reference to your Lost Ark journey. As the fifth anniversary of the Lost Ark has begun, new event island called Shining Memorial Island was added on the world map. You can enter the island whenever you want and progress the island quest whenever you want. Also, it has some daily maze quests that containing the decent reward too, which gives Faeon, Carpac, ETC. So if you are playing the game on KR, try not to miss this opportunity. Also, if you are used to the meme of the Lost Ark KR, you might be really fun to play with the maze too. An island itself has a unit task for taking selfie every day. And of course, as you might expect, it has some hidden quest too. With the hidden quest, you might find out the season one, I mean past system of the Lost Ark too. If you end taking all of the photos in the maze, you will get the toy camera, fifth anniversary emojis, and the trophy. Also, there were some minor convenience patches that was done on KL server last week. First, chaos piece that was required for using your awakening skill was totally removed on this update. So you are no longer required chaos piece for using your awakening skill. But still, there is a limitation for using your awakening just like before inside of the raid, but you don't have to worry about for your shortage of chaos piece while playing through the variable contents. Also, if you are playing the game actually on KR, you still have and can see Chaos piece are on your inventory. After the updates on 15s, it will be retrieved and it will be returned as a silver to your inventory. So if you are playing the game on KR, try not to sell those Chaos piece and wait until the retrieval on 15s update. Alongside with the Chaos piece update, Material capacity was also got expanded like this. So you can stack more materials on your inventory, more than 10,000. Pretty decent updates that can save off your inventory space. The guys like me, I mean stacking material every day, can now save up more inventory than the previous version inventory. Maybe this could be the main part of this video. As they announced the official homepage, the official live stream was live on November 7th, 2023. So from this part, you can also sneak peek the future updates on the KL and the global. More like you can see the approximate direction of the future updates. Balance path that was live on KL was left some debates and arguments about direction of the game. More like community was concerned about their own classes and the destroyed more like collapsed balance of their classes. From this live stream, they did the reply about those concerns on the Lost Ark community. Also, they decided to change the direction of the balance patches too. More like reducing the cycle of the balance patches. Previous was about 3 months to 5 months to get the fixed structure and the balance, right? But as you heard from the official stream, they decided to reduce more for faster balance fix. Additionally, with the simple numerical modification, they promised also to do some modification on the utility. I mean like destruction, stagger, etc, 
for better balancing. Also, some of the users demand for like class chain ticket, but that's not going to happen even on the future. Support MVP will be modified on the future. Also, they do aware about the support system and their MVP must be modified. So in the future, they will be going to change the system of the support MVP and make the support players can do actually fill their own character progression inside of the variable contents. Especially right now in KL, the Ivory Tower hard mode is really due shortage of support. So in short, they will going to modify the support progression and MVP or numeric adjustment for better progression for the support players. Additionally, new hair will be added on the future update too. During the live stream, I mean as they announced on the previous official stream, huge reward was given to all players on the Lost Ark Chaos, including Faeon, Legendary Card Selection Pack, Legendary Elixir with the free renew system, free Stone of Chaos that can be used on gear quality, Chaos Dungeon Rest Bonus Potion, 5th Anniversary Skin and Weapon Pack plus Mount, and surprisingly, free legendary skin pack for every players which was recently released plus with cool lobby background wallpaper so if you are playing the game on KR try not to miss this huge opportunity legendary skin also can give small boost for your character performance so please try not to miss this also one good news for transforming classes for the shadow owner mechanist known as scouter and KR and the artillerist new transform skin was updated on 7th. It is not a free giveaway, but you can buy this thing on the in-game shop just like the other item. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching everyone. And always, thanks for your big support. Hope this video was a little help for your Lost Ark journey. Hope you do well with your Lost Ark with this video. And of course, if you liked my videos, hit the sub for more upcoming infos. I'll come back with more useful infos in the next video.